Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to actually work on the back button. In this application, I have already implemented that part. That's why we can see it over here. So when I click first time, it's ask user to press again to exit. When I continuously click two times, then it shows now the application is closed. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So this is the another project which I have already opened and this project is nothing but pass value this one and here you can see this when i click it single time it just closes the application so what we have to do is we have to start the coding so first thing what we have to do is we have to initialize one variable of long type so private long and i'm going to name this one back pressed time and it's going to keep track of that after this what we have to do is we have to actually override the method that is nothing but on back pressed how to implement one method you have to just simply click alt and you have to click on insert and when you do this you can find over here that is override method so you can directly click serial o after this you have to just start typing on back pressed here you can find this method just double click on this and the, here we have one method that is on back pressed and this is we are actually overriding this method after this what we have to do is we have to check that if back pressed time plus 2000 2000 milliseconds it means that two seconds two seconds is greater than system dot current time millis if this is true then what we have to do is let me just cut this one and we have to paste this one inside this and we have to return okay it means that if we continuously press back button two times within this two seconds then we have to just close this application in the else condition what we have to do is we have to if the user click on the first time then it should sh show some message to the user so i'm going to create a toast so toast and here i want to show the user press back again to exit like this and one more thing what we have to do is we have to actually pass the value back press time is equal to system dot current time release it will set the time to this one this variable now start this and let's check if this works or not so i've restarted the project restarted the app and here you can see this when i click on the first time press back again to exit when i click continuously two times it exit but here you can see this you must have observed that when I click this one, the application exit, but still it shows after the exit that press again to exit. How to overcome that issue? For that, what we have to do is we have to move inside this if block. And here we have to create finish. First, we have to create one toast variable. So toast. And here I have to write back toast. I'm going to name this one. And after this, here what we have to do is we have to suspend that the back toast or cancel that back toast when this we actually exit our application so here we have to write back toast dot cancel like this this will cancel instantly after the application is exit and here we have to actually set this toast to back toast so we have to write like this back toast is equal to toast and like this one and I have to just remove this method and here we have to write back toast dot show like this now start this and let's check if this works or not so terminate and this will restart the application and here you can see this back press back again to exit and when I can just double click on this instantly the toast is removed and the application is closed so this one is working fine so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching please like subscribe and share with your friends